What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. It's Friday, that means it's time for a T3 wash rant. Now guys, in my last AMA, I got a really interesting question. One of my viewers sent me a picture of one of their watches and they said, hey T3, my dad gave me this watch. Is it worth keeping? Very difficult question. We're gonna talk about it today and I actually get a lot of questions like this. So yeah, let's go ahead, take that question and rant about it. It's 5.09 PM, let's get down to business. <laughs> Alright, so right off the bat, it is incredibly difficult for me to tell you what is worth staying in your collection or not, right? Because it's not my collection. And collecting, by definition, is acquiring and gathering things yourself. And also, I can't tell you what is important or not to you as a person. Also, I can't really tell you what a watch means to you. It's not my watch. But guys, I get it. Oftentimes when people write to me, they're asking me about the monetary value of a certain watch. And again, I can kind of help you gain more information information from that perspective, but as far as sentimental value goes and um, whether or not a certain watch is worth staying in your collection, that's really hard. Because watches, to me anyway, are much more than just a monetary acquisition. They usually have to do with sentimental value and they remind me of people and they remind me of, you know, who wore them before me and maybe the watch was given to me by someone. Again, these are kind of intangibles. And I cannot assess these intangibles for you. That's something you gotta do yourself. I'd love to help you, but I can't in that way. So I thought about this question and I actually made a little checklist okay these are some questions you can ask yourself and hopefully it'll help you figure out whether or not a watch is worth keeping in your collection number one does this watch make me happy number two do I wear this watch at all number three who gave me this watch number four is that person at all important to me and finally number five does this watch remind me of a special moment in my life now if you answered no to those questions then yeah probably get rid of that watch if it doesn't really matter to you at all then yeah get rid of it. But if you answered yes to those questions, then maybe I'd consider hanging on to that watch for a little while. But again, guys, these are kind of intangible, woo-woo, sentimental things that I can't assess for another person. It's kind of a person-to-person -person basis, but I'd love to hear from you. Do you have kind of a little checklist or do you, how do you assess keeping a watch in your collection? And how do you know when it's time to get rid of it? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Maybe we can kind of continue this conversation and flesh it out in the comment section. And guys, as always, if you want to support the channel, go ahead, check out the Time Teller shop, and of course, subscribe. Please subscribe. The whole reason I'm here is because of you guys. So if you liked this episode, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the Time Teller. Like, comment, subscribe, share this with everybody that you can. I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller, and always remember I didn't invent time, I just tell it. Real quick, if you enjoyed this episode, then do not worry. The fun doesn't need to stop here. Check out these recommended episodes that are gonna be popping up on the screen anytime now. Also, take a moment, check out my brand new channel, the Time Away channel. It's where I talk about everything outside of the watch world, some of my other collections, some of my other hobbies. And if you're not interested in any of that, don't worry. Just stay right here and I will see you right here. Because I, I never leave. I am trapped inside of this camera.